At sea, ships use a compass to work out which way they're heading. For hundreds of years it's been the same sort of compass that you may well have used yourself when you've been out hiking in the country. A magnetic compass. A magnetic compass points towards the magnetic North Pole, which has an awkward habit of wandering around. Back in 1900 it was somewhere in northern Canada, whereas now it's much closer to the geographic North Pole. Anyway, the movement doesn't really matter because you can account for it by applying variation to magnetic compass bearings to turn them into true bearings. But there's an even bigger issue that we need to deal with. Ships are made of steel, which actually deflects the needle on the compass. To get around that, you employ a compass adjuster who will work out the right position for all the correctors, including those two iron spheres that you see on either side of every ship's compass. Anyway, magnetic compass correction would be an entire video on its own, so we won't go into too much detail today. The main takeaway that I want you to get is that magnetic compasses are deflected by anything metallic. We've just mentioned the ship's hull, but also things like cargo will have an impact especially if it's metallic like iron ore. Fortunately, we do have an alternative to the magnetic compass. It's used not only by ships, but also by airliners, spaceships, and even your own bicycle. I'm talking, of course, about the gyroscope. 